Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the insert into select statement. Now insert into select statement copies data from one table to another. Many times you would be having a need to replicate the data from one table to another or just copy specific columns from one table to another to analyze the data and other sort of work in your testing. So those sort of scenarios will be easy to perform if you know insert into select statement because it will help you to copy the data from one table to another easily. Now data types of the source table and the target table needs to match. Why? Because say for example, you have a data which stores the integer values in the source table. Now if you want to insert those in integer values into the character or text, column of the target table that's not going to work because it needs to match basically if you want to say if you have the compartments and you want to replicate those compartments into another fridge and you want to say that this is the compartment for apples in refrigerator one and then in the another refrigerator as well you have basically a compartment for apples so then you simply have to basically uh, ensure that the apple compartment holds the apple there okay so this is just a general sort of example uh, not not very relevant though with the table but in tables you need to ensure that if you want to move a integer from the source table it needs to match to the data type of the target table or the column where you want to move so it ha it can't be from integer to character okay that's the second point now if there are existing record in the target table they won't get impacted so if you have the target table which contains 50000 records already and you want to insert more data there then it will be not impacted 50000 records will be there and the new data that you want to insert will be inserted after that okay so the format is very simple insert into whichever table you want to insert to right so insert into table 2 from uh, or select from uh, table 1 and then you can specify the where clause as well okay you can insert everything from table 1 to table 2 or you can insert the selective columns from table 1 to table 2 right from source and target table now let's quickly go ahead to the workbench and understand insert into select statement okay so here i am i am using this rcv online shop database i'll simply select that database and then i have created some of the tables so the queries to create the tables quickly so that we save some time right so here what i'll do is i'll create some of the tables so there is an online orders table right and then I'll be creating another table with exactly the same data types and the columns. So if say for example, I want to exactly copy from a table online orders table to online orders one, then the second table should have the exact matching columns and the data types there. Okay. So if I simply create these and then there is another table, which is the customer details. So I'll show you some more examples for that. So let me create these tables quickly. So first table got created and these statements I have already explained to create the table, right? So simple statement, create table, the name of the table, and then whatever columns you want to specify, right? So ID, what type or data type it is, it is integer and it can't be null. So I'm specifying not null, then location, which is where car, and then it can be null and uh, so forth, right? So there is inconsistency consistency here. So uh, usually it should be, you know, like, uh, I mean, doesn't matter, but, uh, uppercase is is preferable for null and not null so to make it more clear okay so let me put another query there and create another table so another table got created and then i have the customer details table all right so three tables got created let me insert some data into the online orders table right so the first table i'm inserting some data so the statement is absolutely simple insert into whatever the name of the table and then i'm inserting the values into the table and i match the values to the columns the number of columns that that are there so everything will be populated so if i run this 
so all of the four rows have been added okay so if i refresh this little icon if i click on this you will see online orders orders one customer details right um all of these are available okay so now if i yeah so here you can see orders one orders and customer details i think orders was already there previously so let me see yeah i think there was an orders table already no it's fine okay so now if i try to display the values right so if i say select star from because we have inserted these values into the online orders table so let's see what all values are there you will see four rows are there okay now if i have to insert these this data to a new table right so instead of just inserting everything one by one i simply want to replicate right so in that case i can simply use the statement insert into right so if i go to the presentation here i can use insert into select statement right so insert into if i want to insert into another table and then select everything from table one okay i do not want to specify condition i want to insert everything from table one to table two okay so how can we do it so i can simply write it so i can say insert into i want to insert into this online orders one okay so insert into online orders one okay select and then i want to insert everything that is there in online orders into online orders one so i'll say select star from online orders now why will this be successful in inserting because you know that when we created online orders and online orders one the column numbers match and the data types of those columns so this one id is integer location is varchar and customer name is varchar right so all of this matches these data types of the column matches and the number of the columns match so the insertion will be successful okay so if i run this you will see that it has been successful and if i now see the online orders one table right so if i run the query for online orders one you will see all of that data has been populated into the online orders one okay so let's create one more table here so if i'll say online orders two which is exact same and run the query i'll show you because i haven't shown you that it was empty before this running this statement so online orders two will be empty now because we just created so there is nothing in on online orders two and if i want to insert everything from online orders to online orders two i'll simply say insert into online orders two select everything which is star basically so star is all from online orders okay so if i run this you will see that now the online orders two will have that data there okay so this is how you will be inserting everything now does it matter that this column name in the online orders two table needs to be location exactly same and the the length of the data type should be same as well absolutely not so let me quickly create another table online orders three to showcase that it can be anything right so it, i can say this is city okay so say for example i'll change it to let me change it to city and instead of 60 now i just want to have this 30 the length is 30 but the data type is same right data type is same this length and the name of the columns in the target table doesn't matter okay so here as well i'll simply change it to say for example 25 all right and instead of customer name i'll say say custom name one okay so if i create this table now which is online orders three and just see the table got created and has doesn't have any of the values so you'll see it doesn't have any value and it has id city and customer name okay now if i want to insert everything from online orders to online orders three now this this data type is still same right data type was varchar and the data type of the second column is also varchar okay 
then the first value that I want to insert the data type is integer and here it is integer as well. The name has changed and the length of data type has changed with the name change of the column in the target table or the data type change. The copying wouldn't be affected. It will still copy all the details from the source table into the target table. Let's run this and you will see it has run it successfully. And this time, if I open this online orders three, you will see that in city, everything has been inserted and customer name one, everything has been inserted. The reason being that because the data type is same and the length has only changed and the name of the column has only changed. So as far as the data type is same, the values will get inserted if they are into that particular length, right? So if you say the length is here, the length is length of the data is 60 or 100 and here it's just two and the actual value is of length 50, then that might have some issues. But we don't need to go into those uh, lot many details, but this is just to show that the data types need to match the length and the value of the column or the name of the column doesn't matter. Okay, this is how you will copy the full set of data. Now, if I want to copy the only specific columns, right? So what I can do is I can say from online orders. Okay, so now I want to insert something in online orders three or let's say this customer details that what we created. So in the customer details, I want to insert. So insert into customer details. I want to select all from the online orders where so with the where clause, I want to search for a specific value based on the condition and then insert only that value, right? So what I can do is from online order, I know that there is a customer name KK, right? So I can say where cust name is equal to KK. Now with this condition, what will happen is it will first check whether the, the condition has been met. Yeah, only that particular customer which will meet this criteria will get inserted into customer details. So prior to that, let's first check that customer details. Just give me a sec. Customer details table is actually empty, right? So if I now check customer details table, you will see it is empty at the moment. Now if I insert this data here, okay, so one record has been updated because there was only one customer with name KK. And if I run the query now, you will see that one record is there. Okay. If I run this query again, okay, this will prove another point that I have mentioned in the slide. So again, one row got added. Okay. So because there was already existing row in customer details. So now there should be two rows, right? So because we know that existing data will still be there in the table with this insert into select it, it won't get impacted. All right. So you'll see two rows are there. Now, the next thing is if I want to insert into a specific column, right? So I say, for example, I say insert into, then I want to specify the specific column, right? So I want to insert into customer details and in the city, right? Insert into customer details and specify the column name, right? So I say column name city and then select star from, I think I need to put it in the brackets there. Okay. And because we need to specify the column there, okay, which column we want to enter the values and then select the columns from the source table, right? So I want to, let's see what are the columns in the online order so quickly. So the columns are customer name location, right? So say for example, I want to insert the values in the customer name column to some other columns in the customer details. So I'll simply say select customer name, right? So cust name from a particular from the source table, which is basically the online orders table, right? So online orders, not orders one. Okay. 
So what I'm doing here is I'm saying insert into customer details city column the customer name from online orders table right so from online orders table there is a customer name column which is basically the varchar the data type of customer name and city are same okay so that is why this insertion will happen successfully right so select customer name from online orders and then it will enter into the customer details right so let's run this and okay so field customer name doesn't have a default value okay i think I got the reason for this uh, the reason is here i have in the customer details i have defined this customer name as not null right so basically when i'm trying to insert this customer name into city there needs to be some sort of value into the customer name as well okay so let me open this customer details table and see the details of the column so if i okay so all right so what we can do here is um, so instead of just city and uh, instead of just city what i'll do is because customer name can't be null so i need to include customer name in the list as well so i'll simply say insert customer name and city so i'm inserting two columns there from um, the online orders and in the online orders what we have we need to insert the id as well because this is required in the first column in the customer details right so i'll say select id and then comma customer name from online orders right so what this will do is it will insert id into the customer name and then customer name into the city right which is not ideal but let me change it to location so location into the city and the id or basically just the cust cust name into the customer name right so if i run this so basically what will what it will do is in the customer details table right if i run, see what data is there in the customer name there will be the name okay the customer name from the first table which is online orders and the location uh, the location of the online orders will be populated into the city all right so if i run this now this should run successfully this time you will see four rows got affected right and now in the customer details you will see that yes it has basically updated the customer name and the location from the table into the city and rest all values which could be null are null right now because this column was not null defined as not null so it is not it was not allowing me to move the value or copy the value from source table to target table without populating the values here right so this is basically how you are going to populate the values or the data values from into multiple columns in SQL using insert into select statement. Okay, so I think that's all for uh, this particular tutorial. Um, let me see what else we want to understand. So if I see the details here, yeah, everything is here. And in the online orders, you will see that the location that was there has been moved into the city column, right? And the customer name from this source table has moved to the customer name in the customer details table right you can see clearly here okay these four rows so that's all for this tutorial about insert into select statement i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching